the wrestling mark. Reporting live from outside the American Airlines Center in Dallas, where we have just gone through hell in a cell. You know what? I'm still recovering from how this night ended, but we'll get to that in due time. The first cell match of the night was John Cena versus Randy Orton. And you know what? A lot of people have been saying that this rivalry has gotten stale. They're tired of seeing these two face each other. But for my money, tonight's match had some of the best action those two have produced in a long time. I mean, the two were going after weapons early on in the match. Cena was put through a chair and a table, while Orton, trying to bring the steps into the ring, that fired on him as Cena managed to deliver the five knuckle shuffle and the side slam on those steps. The two showed just how well they know each other as Cena quickly kicked out of an early RKO. Orton refused to tap out to the STF and kicked out of the attitude adjustment twice. Orton even countered an attitude adjuster into an RKO and Cena still kicked out of that. But finally, Cena delivered an AA from the turnbuckle into another table to get the win over Orton. With this victory, Cena now gets one more shot at Brock Lesnar and the World Championship. As for the champion, we'll get to that in a moment. Almost as hellacious as the Cell matches was the opening contest where Dolph Ziggler swept a two out of three falls match against Cesaro to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Ziggler countered out of Cesaro's spin attack into a roll up for the first fall. Then he endured a power slam, a suplex, even a press into an uppercut, mainly because an injured left shoulder left Cesaro unable to get to a pin cover in time at any point. But finally, Ziggler got a kick to the face and the zigzag to score the second fall and retain the belt. It took two backbreakers, but Nikki Bella was able to defeat her sister Brie for the second time in this very intense sibling rivalry. With this loss, Brie now has a choice to make. She must be Nikki's personal servant for a month or be forced to quit WWE. For now, it looks like she's willing to submit to the former of those two choices. We may find out tomorrow night on Raw just whether or not she will continue to endure that. Golden Stardust managed to retain the Tag Team Championships against the Usos. The Usos were flying all over the place, inside and outside the ring, and at one time, both Usos hit a superplex on one of the Dusts at the same time. But ultimately, the two Dusts managed to double team to allow Goldust to get the slam needed for the win. Sheamus retained the United States Championship against The Miz, delivering a brogue kick as The Miz flew from the turnbuckle. But the real entertaining part was after the match, when Sheamus used the unconscious Miz like a puppet and got his stunt double Sandow to mimic him. He even got him to do the YMCA with The Miz. And you know what? After seeing him in person, I'm not sure when Sandow looked like a bigger dork as the Miz's stunt double or trying to be a poor impression of Poffo the genius. Rusev managed to beat the Big Show again by submission even though it looked like the referee called for the bell without the Big Show tapping. But it still took two to three kicks to Big Show's head to finally take him down and allow Rusev to get him into the submission hold. At the moment, I'm not sure who's out there in WWE who could possibly beat this Russian monster. But I'll tell you who I think really deserves to have come up, it's come to them, and that's his little blonde bimbo. Lana, you like to talk all the smack? Well, I can think of a certain diva currently in NXT that I would love to see come up to Raw and kick your teeth down your throat. I've got one word for you, Lana. Woo! AJ Lee, the greatest diva since Trish Stratus, retained her Divas Championship as Paige, having Alicia Fox in her corner, backfired greatly. When AJ left Paige outside the ring and Alicia chose to throw her back in, that just gave AJ the chance she needed to put her in the Black Widow submission hold for the tap out. And you know what? 
One thing that I'm really disappointed in from CM Punk calling it quits is that I don't get to attend these matches and taunt him by calling him nothing but AJ's husband. But the match everyone was waiting for was Dean Ambrose against Seth Rollins in the cell. And how psychotic was Ambrose in this thing? He started by fighting Rollins, Jamie Noble, and Joey Mercury on top of the cell. And then the two went after each other on the cell wall and fell onto both announce tables. It looked like they were both going to be carried out on stretchers before Ambrose broke free and threw Rollins into the cell. And it was only then that the match officially started, when Ambrose then threw just about everything possible at Rollins. Too many chairs to count, tables, even Rollins's money in the bank briefcase. But then, I'm still shocked at what happened at the end of this thing. It looked like Ambrose was going to take out Rollins on a cinder block, and then the lights went out, and all of a sudden, Bray Wyatt was in the ring. He took out Ambrose, allowing Rollins to get the win. There are certainly going to be a lot more questions that we're going to need answers to starting this Monday night on Raw, leading in to Survivor Series. Unfortunately, as many of you are aware, we did not have a world championship match tonight. Brock Lesnar did not defend the championship, and as in fact, not been seen for weeks since he barely retained his championship back at Night of Champions. And personally, this wrestling fan and reporter is deeply disappointed in Brock for doing this. This calls into question his courage and dedication to the championship. A lot of people seem to have some issue with John Cena, but at least he has always been willing to defend a title anytime, any place, anywhere. I guess maybe these UFC fighters just aren't as tough enough as real WWE superstars. Brock's loudmouth manager Paul Heyman may like to talk the talk, but sooner or later his client Lesnar is going to have to walk the walk. Reporting from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, I'm the Wrestling Mark.